there's kind of three areas that we're focusing on every quarter. Credit quality improvement, capital ratios, and what earnings are doing. If you look at the past couple of years, everything has been about credit. And in the past couple of quarters, banks, especially this last quarter where banks are just releasing now, you're starting to see um, some pretty significant credit improvement and provision levels going down substantially, which has created uh, you know positive earnings, which we haven't seen in, in several years. What investors are looking at, however, is where the growth is going to come from. So even though provision levels are coming down for banks, meaning that credit quality is improving, asset quality is improving, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that the top line is growing. We're waiting for the M&A floodgates to open. Um, and there's certainly today a lot more conversations going on as far as open bank uh, mergers and acquisitions. However, if you look at year-to-date transactions nationwide uh, in 2011 versus last year, we're actually below last year as far as a run rate. I think things will, uh, will, will likely pick up more so uh, towards the latter part of 2011, but it's likely to be a mid-2012, 2013 where you start to see the level of activity um, pick up nationwide that we saw pre-recession. But it comes back to really the fundamentals of, of the target when we look at, you know, likely merger candidates and that's the attractiveness of the franchise, the attractiveness of the earning stream, the attractiveness of, of the core deposit base uh, and so forth.